how come that you suddenly decided not to continue and then come back again as the candidate? Well, you know, when you reach the position of deputy mayor and budget chief, you, you really are at the top. The, the only place for you to go is, is to be the mayor. And so, having done it for 20 years, I, I came to the conclusion that I was either going to run for mayor or I wasn't. And because I was uh, politically aligned with Mr. Lastman and because he was so popular at the time, I went out for dinner with him in February of 2000. I asked him if he was going to run again. He said he was. And then I decided, well, that if he was, I would not continue. I would, I would take a break. And I called it a break. I wanted to just take a break from politics, go back into the private sector and do something different. So, so you think that it's the right time for you to come back and sort of continue your service to the community? How come that uh, you don't see Mr. Larson endorsing you as his successor? Well, I, I think two things happened. Uh, you know, one is that we had a difference of opinion over the finances of the city. Um, I believe that the city's deficit is the major problem, and I felt that we needed to make additional budget cuts and we needed to take some action to address the more serious long-term issues, and Mr. Lastman did not. And so we had a falling out, as they say, and, and we disagreed fundamentally on the financial proposals that I was putting forward. Um, interesting enough, those financial proposals were correct. But the second one is, I, I really, you know, if you think about it, it's great that I have 20 years of experience and that I started at the age of 21, but it's not good because I haven't had some of the other experience, which is important when you're running a government this big. So when I left, I thought I would make best use of my time, so I did two things. One, I, uh, I got a job as a hospital administrator. I was the vice president of one of the larger hospitals in Toronto a hospital with a budget of $130 million. I was in charge of a department of 1,250 people. And I found myself writing reports as opposed to asking for reports, which was quite a switch. So why did you run for the provincial uh, level so that you can serve and put your expertise of management and health together? Well, what I also did was I went back to school mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I did a master's degree in health science which, you know, my, my undergrad degree was in arts. Here I was doing a master's degree in science. It's a little bit on the difficult side. I did that at the same time as taking on my new job. And... Um, and